Hi guys! Um, welcome back to Spossy Duck Homestead. Last week I was complaining we hadn't had enough rain. And we haven't. It's been about two months since we'd had any proper rain. We've had a few showers here and there but not proper rain, not enough to soak the garden, not enough to give the plants a drink. Um, well, the rain gods were obviously listening because this week we've had quite a lot and it's been brilliant. It's been nice gentle soaking rain for about three or four days. It's just great. The gardens all had a lovely drink. All the plants outside have had a lovely drink. They're all really happy um, and they're all really bursting with life, really growing well. The weeds are growing well as well so um, we need to get on top of those. More weeding. The weeding never ends. <laughs> but today I'm in the greenhouse. I'm going to be pricking out the side shoots of my tomatoes and I thought I would show you how and tell you why. Right, so if you look at your stems on your tomato plants, you'll see that it will have one main stem going right the way up and off each main stem will be leaves, little stems with leaves growing on them. But leave them, don't take them off yet. Take them off later in the season. From the, the joint between the leaf stem and the main stem, you'll get little side shoots that come up and it's those little side shoots that you take off. You can leave the side shoots on, some people do, some, some people leave it so that the plant has two or maybe three. I do apologise for the duck in the background. <laughs> some people leave the plant so it will have two or maybe three side shoots um, and this gives a bigger harvest but it also takes up more space and it gives a later harvest because the plant is putting more of its energy into into producing those side shoots rather than producing a single stem and more flowers and therefore more fruit. So what I do and what, what most of the people I know do is prick off the side shoots so there's one main stem going up. This means that you can um, tie the plant to a cane and train it to go up straight easier and it also means that you're not worried about more shoots and more stems and trying to support more weight on that plant. So if you look at this plant here, you can see that it has one main stem going up with the leaves coming off and in between this joint here, this little axle, it has this which is a side shoot and it's these side shoots that I take off. now. When they're small, like this one, you can just, when they're small like this one, you can just snap and they come away. When they're bigger, like this one, you'll need to use a knife. If you try to snap this one off, you might rip this, the skin of the stem going down, which can introduce bacteria and therefore disease into the plant and make your plant weaker because then your plant is fighting the disease rather than putting its energy into growing. So just get your knife and snap it off. So you can see you've got the stem going up, side shoot there, little side shoot there, little side shoot there, side shoot right at the bottom that I've missed, a little tiny one there, and then at the top here you can see it almost forks but one one of the stems is bigger than the other so this is a side shoot because it's coming out of this join here between that stem and the leaf and you just snap it off I won't do anything any higher up because then you're getting into very little ones and if you take the growing tip off by accident your plant won't grow any higher. So what I tend to do is, I, if I'm not 100% certain, I will leave a couple of the shoots higher up to make sure that if you accidentally snap that shoot off, you had a side shoot that you could use as the main stem. Sometimes, like with this plant here, when it was smaller, it was difficult to see which was going to be the main shoot, whether it was going to be this one or this one. So I left it and now it's grown up. You can see that this is a side shoot and this is the main shoot. You can see that because the leaves coming off the main shoot are bigger 
keeping the leaves coming off the side shoot. So you just should have used a knife for that one. This is what I mean about sometimes you can sometimes you can rip the plant. This is what I mean when I say that sometimes you can rip the skin. You see I've had a shoot there, it's come off here, that's obviously been too big and I've tried to snap it off and rather than snapping off cleanly it's torn the skin here which has torn it down the stem. Now that's not major, the plant will probably be alright with that. Um, if I was concerned I could wrap it with a bit of tape just to act as a bit of a barrier, stop any any bacteria getting in but I'm just going to leave that I think the plant will heal that quite all right but it's just worth bearing in mind that if you have a stem that's a little bit bigger it really is worthwhile getting a knife and cutting it rather than trying to rip it so this shoot here or any of them but especially the bigger ones if you want an extra tomato plant you can pop this in a, a jar of water and it'll begin to put little roots out and then once it's put little roots out you can pot it on and you can have another tomato plant. I don't need any more tomato plants I'm not doing that this year but I have done that in the past and it is a good way of getting more tomato plants if you need more. This plant will literally be a clone of the plant it came off. That's all you're doing you're cloning it. You're just taking a clone it's just like taking a cutting or any other plant that you might take a cutting of. Right, so I've finished doing all the tomatoes that are in this greenhouse. I'll do the ones in the other greenhouse the next time I go to see them. It really is the sort of job you should do on a running basis. You should check them on a daily basis and you should just snap off any little stems as and when you see them. I've left them to get a little bit bigger so it's more obvious and it's easier to make a video. Um, if you leave them, you really do end up with a jungle. I've left them in the past, I think three years ago I didn't bother pricking any side shoots out and this greenhouse was just an untamable jungle um, and I ended up having to really hack my plants back in about August. <laughs> so now I try to keep on top of it and prick them off when they're nice and little. Right, so I'm going to have a tidy up, carry on pricking on some weeds and I'm going to sow some lettuce and some radish as well. Right. I hope you've enjoyed this video, I hope you've learned something, I hope it's been useful. If it has, drop me a comment down in the comment section. If you've got any questions, I'll do my best to answer them. Um, give me a thumbs up and please subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed what you've seen and you want to see more. See you later guys, bye.